Now, my next guest was brought to worldwide attention through the hit Netflix TV show Making a Murderer, where he was one of the defence lawyers for Stephen Avery, who was convicted of the murder of Theresa Hallback. Dean Strang is his name. He joins me on the line. Uh, Dean, thanks very much for speaking to us this morning. Uh, a huge amount of our listeners will have watched Making a Murderer and, and they'll be aware of Stephen Avery's case. They may not, I suppose, have followed as closely what's happened since then. Uh, what, what is the situation? Now? Well, um, Stephen Avery has has had a new legal team since early 2016, so two years now. Uh, they have pursued diligently and, and I think with some success, um, newly discovered evidence. However, this past August, uh, the, the Manitowoc County Trial Court, in which uh, Stephen Avery was convicted back in 2007, decided that the new evidence was not sufficient to warrant a new trial. So Mr. Avery's current lawyers now are on appeal of that ruling in the Wisconsin State uh, Court of Appeals. The show was was it was a huge success worldwide, but of course, as you'd imagine, would be the case in the wake of it. There was criticism of it from 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 those on the other side, from law enforcement officers, from prosecutors, who said, "Look, this was this was spin. Don't be taken in by the spin. This is kind of uh, almost a, a legal tactic from from the Stephen Avery side." You know, what did you make of that criticism? It's largely unfair. Um, cert- the, the most clearly unfair piece of that is to accuse the filmmakers of having been pawns of the defense or, or even connected to the defense. They weren't. They were independent filmmakers. Um, indeed, Jerry Buting and I, you know, considered very seriously not participating in the film in the first instance. Ultimately, we did. But they were, they were entirely independent of the defense.